okay, I've changed my mind. Instead of going to each router and doing all the Ethernets first, it'd make more sense just to confi finish configuring this router. So we're looking at here network 4 in between these two routers. All right, that's this network, 5.224. Now the first usable host is 225. I'm going to put that from going left to right. So 225 will go here, 226 will go here. We're talking about serial 3 slash 0. So I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to say interface serial 3 slash 0. And then I'm just going to put in the IP address. IP address 192.168.5.224. Right, and then the slash 30 subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.252. Okay, now this does need a clock rate, so clock because it's the DCE clock rate 64,000, and then a no shutdown command, and that interface should be up now. If we look at it, it still shows red because the other serial interface is down. So this will not come up until this other serial interface comes up on this other router. But we got to do serial 2 here. Now serial 2, this is this network, network 5. And network 5 is not the 224 network, it's the 228 network. So this will be the first host going left to right, or going clockwise anyway. This will be host 229 right here. So we'll go in here. And I will say I'll do up arrow till I get to interface two slash zero. Then I'll do up interface till I get to IP address, and this is going to be two twenty nine. No shutdown. Okay. So now I've got these interfaces configured on this router. Just to recap, this guy over here got 5.229 right here. And this one over here got 5.226. Okay, now the red lights are up because the other routers have not been configured. So I'm going to go configure them now. Since I'm, I'm going to move from network 1 to network 2, where we need 62 hosts, our second network. All right, and we'll configure that now. All right, here we go. Open this router up. Command line interface. No. Return to get started. Enable. Conf T. Interface. FA0 slash 0. So I've got the Ethernet interface up here, and we're talking about this network here, network 2, 62 hosts. The first usable host address will be 5.129 slash 26. So IP address 192.168. Dot five dot one twenty nine two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot and this is going to be a slash twenty six so it'll be dot one ninety two okay no shut for no shutdown all right now that should be going up and it is so now we're going to do serial two and serial 3. Okay. Serial 2 is network 4. The first usable host address which is 225. Two twenty-five, and this is a slash thirty, so the subnet mask will be two fifty-two, and it is the clock right, left to right. It does not get the clock rate, 
So all I have to do is issue a no shutdown command and we should see that interface go up now. And as you can see, now both interfaces are up and we're good to go. So now let's do serial three, this one right here, which is network six, the last network, and that is the 232 network, and it will be the second usable host address going clockwise. Clock, uh, you know, I said left to right, but what I meant was clockwise. So it will be host 234 right here, host 234. So, and that's serial three, and it's going to need a clock rate. So, just use up arrow till I get to interface, change it to serial three slash zero. IP address will be 234. It's going to be a 252, 255, 255, 255, 252 address. It's going to need a clock rate. Put in 64,000 and a no shutdown command. All right, and now that is up. Okay, now it says change state to down. It's going to stay down until the other router is configured. And 234, let me double check. Yep, that's the second usable host. I, the first usable is 233, so the second usable is 234 right there. Okay, I'll close this and do the last router. Okay, now for this last router, we're going to start once again with the um, LAN network first. This is network 3, 30 hosts. So network 3, 5.192. So 5.193 is the first usable host. So I'll go in here and I'll type in no, hit return, enable to get to privileged mode, configure terminal to get to global config mode, interface FA for fast ethernet, zero slash zero, and IP address. I'm going to double check. This is network 3, 30 hosts. 5.193 is the first usable host address. So, and this one is a slash 27. So it is going to be slash 27 25, 26, 27. 128 plus 64 plus 32 is 224. And then we'll say no shutdown. And that should be up now. It's going up right there. And that's good. And now let's do these other interfaces. Network 5, 228. It's going to be the second usable. So this will be 230, 5.230 on serial 3. So we'll go in here. Use up arrow, S3 slash zero, IP address 92.168.5. I think I said 230, network five. Yep. Second host, second usable host is 230, and that'll be a 255.255.255.252. And it needs a clock rate. And a no shutdown command. All right, and now that's up. See the clock there? Shows me the interface, shows me this is the one, the DCE side of the serial connection, so it needed a clock rate. Now let's do serial 2 slash 0. Going left to right, it's the first usable host, network 6. So it'll be host 233. Host 233. So interface serial 2 slash 0. IP address 233. Enter. It's not going to need a clock rate, so it just needs a no shutdown command. So now all our interfaces are up and we're ready to configure um, now we're ready to configure eiger 